choosing, uh, choosing, restoring, and maintaining classic vehicles. To start out with, I have a love affair of cars. Don't tell my wife. Uh, one of the famous quotes that I love is, cars we drive say a lot about us, by Andrea Paul. The classic car hobby is full of choices. Some of the choices include make, model, um, even manufacturers. Uh, some of the benefits of choices are, you know, just the cool car that you walk through with like in, or, or, uh, or, or just enjoying them. Some of the problems are they come, you can lose a lot of money. You can get cars that just aren't a good standard. I, uh, I have had done both. This car hobby started out with me a long time ago. I started out with go-karts. My, my dad, my brothers, they all built cars. We, we enjoyed it. It's how we bonded. We went into full restorations, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. It's, it's been a good, good experience. I'm trying to get my son involved now. Oh, sorry. Uh, choosing a cl classic car, you need to take the time to think about it. Pick what's a good fit for you. Figure out your needs. Figure out what you want. If you have a, a three-person family, it's probably not a good idea to get a two-seat sports car. And be real. You know, if, if you have a, a middle-income budget, you can't get a Ferrari. Next. <laughs> Restoring classic cars. Likewise, cars aren't perfect. Uh, sometimes you need to re restore them to get the way you want them, but it takes time and money. Next. Maintaining. Older vehicles require a lot of work. They do not, um, they weren't made for modern highways and, and city streets. So you need to consider your maintenance options, whether you can do it or your shop can do it. And uh, in conclusion, classic cars are nostalgic. You get a personal bond, <coughs> plan for problems, and enjoy the experience. I'm going to end with the same quote. The car we drive says a lot about us. Thank you.